What's going on, Chiliads? Welcome back to Florida Heat. But I was going to wait until tomorrow to review this, do like one review a day. But I couldn't wait to open this. And I don't want to... If I opened it, I had to do the review tonight. Because I, it wouldn't last. and It just probably wouldn't last by the time I did a video tomorrow. I don't want to get on to do a review of it. It's uh, from House of Jerky down in Tarpon Springs. And like I said, I thought... The House of Jerky down here was the only one, like, in the world or in the country, whatever. But when I went up to Pennsylvania, I saw one. Same stuff, everything. Um, this is Carolina Reaper Beef Jerky. Um, now, it says on here, manufactured for House of Jerky. So, I don't know. It's in, in Evansville, Indiana. So, it's from, it may, so I don't know if they got enough, some other company that just manufacturer form same thing with the sauce because uh, I I remember I I had I reviewed a sauce from them uh, and then I remember I drank like there's about that much of the bottle left and I drank it, it was a ghost pepper sauce um, it's vacuum sealed I mean there's not one bit of air in there which is great for when you get a beef jerky um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read the ingredients there's there's not much to the label as far as it's just you know, very old school. So here we go. Ingredients. Beef. Top round. That's the type of beef they use, I guess. Soy. Soy sauce. Um, water bean. Soy bean. Okay, that's just the soy sauce. That's in parentheses. So I'm st I'm starting to understand what, when the in the parentheses, that's what is the soy sauce consists of. Brown sugar. Pineapple juice. Honey. Water, Tabasco sauce, vinegar, red pepper, and salt, Carolina Reaper chili pepper, garlic, red chili pepper, onion, liquid smoke, white pepper, black pepper, ginger. Now, this this isn't your, uh, it doesn't have the Carolina Reaper powder on it, so I mean like the heat, it, it's got heat, I've had it before, you know, but I'm going to get right to it anyway, because I really... Gotta refresh my memory on it, really. That's why I'm doing this. Um, so I'll show you. It's not... I don't know. I think they changed up the way they do it. Because I remember it did used to have a powdery uh, consistency on it. Now you can see there are seeds on it. You know. And it's like a... So the coating on it is not... It's hard to see in my camera. It, it's like a... It, it's a sticky substance. Yeah, you know... I gotta say, they must have changed our recipe. I mean, don't get me wrong, my tolerance has gone up since I tried it last. But it's not as hot as it was when I first started buying it. But beef jerky is one of those things that's really hard to get a bad beef jerky product. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can you can dry it out too much and it's hard to chew. This is very tender. Now you can see the seeds on there too, you know, so it's legit. Getting a little bit of heat. I'm sure if I eat this whole bag like I will tonight. Yeah, it's really not that much. This was a 4-ounce bag and there's a 8-ounce bag. I should have got the 8-ounce bag. I still wouldn't last through the night, but at least I have more. Heat's picking up. Now. Excuse me. Now, the last, like, 
spicy or hot beef jerky I had was the one Keith Nichols sent to me. Sorry guys, that's a really chewy piece. Um, this is nothing close to what Keith Nichols sent me. That stuff that Keith Nichols sent me was the best, best beef jerky I had in a while. Now the heat's kicking up on this one. I, you know, it's not like, oh my God, it's Carolina, you know. It, I really don't even get the Carolina Reaper pepper uh, flavor because that's... I mean, that's way down on the list. It's like the fifth or sixth ingredients on the list. But I think when I go back down there, I'm going to get... I want to review like the python beef jerky. They got ostrich. It's it's weird. They got like they don't they it's like they got camel beef jerky. It's weird. And I want to really I just I'm curious to see what it tastes like. Um It's good beef jerky, don't get me wrong. But comparing it to some of the better beef jerkies I've had, there's a guy actually called Renegade Joe. In this, in this area. He goes from bars to... From Pasco County to Hernando County. He makes his own beef jerky. His name is Renegade Joe. He gives out his card. Um, he has all different kinds of flavors. Full pepper, uh, jalapeno. He doesn't... You know, all his flavors are full. They're not... It's all natural. Um, well, I don't know. I don't know if he uses straight jalapeno. He says he... It says it's full flavor jalapeno. Like... And the thing is... The, the reason I believe it's he uses actual jalapenos because every time I get the jalapeno flavor, it, it ranges from it can be super hot to very mild. But, um, yeah, he has some great beef jerky. Um, he, he goes around to, like, all the bars or um, and stuff like that. And he's a very cool guy. You, you know, he doesn't come in and, like, sit here and yank on your arm to buy his beef jerky. He just runs walks through with a cooler. You want some beef jerky tonight? And if you want some, he'll he'll he, he'll sell you whatever he's got. He does all kinds of deals. If you don't want to, he, you know, he doesn't he he takes no. You know, if you tell him no, he's you know he doesn't sit there and harp on it. You know, he doesn't like he's not a solicitor. You know, he's just. But I think that's like his main business. That's how he makes his money. Um, I haven't seen him in a while though. Oh, <sighs> anyway. Just wanted to get on and review that jerky. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get off now. I got a sauce I want to root them. I don't know if I want to review. I did. I showed you guys that truff one. I've been wanting to try that for a while. I might do that one tomorrow because I've been really wanting to try it. And then I got one. I might review on like Saturday or no. I might review it on like Friday or something when I go home from work. Um, pretty excited about it. Um, I think it's one of the first. It's one of the first sauces I think they made with the Carolina Reaper in it. It was like not too long after the Carolina Reaper, uh, Ed Curry came out with the Carolina Reaper pepper. And because I looked at other YouTube reviews of it and that's what some a lot of the people said. I think this was like the first one that had, it was like one, it's like 1 1.4 million scope shoe. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to say the name of it yet. It's sitting back there. Um. But it's 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 gonna be a I, I'm hoping it's gonna have some heat to it. I've seen pretty good reviews on it. Um, but uh, I'll give you a hint on the name. Uh, since I picked it up, it has to. It reminds me of a song from an old classic rock band. And ever since I picked it up, I've just been hearing this cowbell in my ear. So uh, let's uh, drop drop some name drop some. Uh, comments, see if you can name what sauce, what what you think the sauce is going to be named, or somewhere close, or what it's based off of. I know it's an older generational song, but I listen to a lot of class rock, and then when I do the review, I have a story I have to tell about the band and the song and whatnot. It's pretty cool. Um, but hope you all having a great night. I'm going to get off and go watch some Deadliest Catch. I got the new episode recorded, so... Um, 
Uh, everybody's like, oh, NBA playoffs. I'm like, oh, I don't watch basketball since my Sixers are out. I'm going to watch Deadliest Catch. All right, y'all have a good night. Love y'all. Be safe.